Hello people, in this video let us look at cataract and mainly its classification. So cataract actually means waterfall looks like. So it is uh, the opacity of the lens or its capsule. So that is how the definition goes, opacity of the lens or capsule. So where is the lens? So here you can see the lens, right? So if this lens which is inside or if the capsule which is outside, Either of these, if they become, if they develop some opacity, then it will be called as cataract. Okay. So, in this, you have two types of uh, cataract, guys. You have congenital and acquired. Okay. In types, you have congenital and acquired. So, what does cataract actually mean? Waterfall. So definition you know opacity of lens or capsule types will be congenital or acquired. Congenital usually will be because of the opaque lens fibers. Opaque lens fibers these people will have congenitally. And acquired will be because of degeneration. Degeneration which will lead to opacification. Okay. So that will be acquired. See this definition, slight addition they have done here. Opacity of lens or capsule sufficient enough to impair the vision. Okay. So this should be sufficient enough to impair the vision. So this if you want you can add. Okay. So what will be the symptoms of these people? These people will have slow painless defective vision. Okay. It will be slow condition, painless condition. They will be losing vision. They won't know. So, uh, slow, painless, defective vision. They can have diplopia, polyopia, glare. So, this image depicts, uh, depicts what? Diplopia, polyopia, glare. They can also have colored halos like this. Okay. Diplopia, slow, painless, defective vision. Okay. So, now you know the symptoms. Know the definition. You know the main two types, congenital acquired and also the causes that we told you and then symptoms. These are the symptoms. Okay. See, this classification is very much in detail you should know, especially congenital. They have asked many times the classification. There can be yet another type of classification, guys, that could be morphological. That means you can say anatomical, right, for morphology. Okay. See, morphologi uh, morphological means, let us look at this. First, you should know the lens, right? This is the lens. So, if this is the eye. Right? So, this is the lens. Here you have the iris and here you will have the cornea. So, this is the lens. The lens has so many parts. Here you can see the nuclear part. Around this you have some lamellar. What is this? Anterior cortical. So, cortex. Remember nuclear and cortex. Okay, don't remember anything else. Remember nucleus is there. Cortex is there. Okay. Then you have the capsular. So, you have the capsular. Just below the capsule above the cortex if it is it is called a subcapsular did you understand anything at all remember nuclear cortex capsule is outside between cortex and capsule you have subcapsular okay here some terms are there called posterior polar and uh, this one is posterior polar this dot here they are showing you posterior polar this is okay there is yet another terminology here, coronary, peripheral cortical. This is coronary. If you want, you can remember this, guys. Coronary comes in congenital. You can see that. So, there is yet another morphology there. So, look at this. Morphological classification of cataract. What and all you have here? Capsular, you can have subcapsular. In that, you should know posterior subcapsular. Okay. Cupule form, cup shaped. Some cup shaped here you will have. Subcapsular, posterior. So, what and all you saw? Capsular, subcapsular, then you have cortical, yes. Then you have supranuclear, above the nucleus and then you have nuclear. So, nuclear will be where this is affected, nuclear. Then you have polar cataract also. Polar you saw here, this is posterior polar, isn't it? Posterior polar, anterior polar also they are talking about. Posterior subcapsular means something at the back just below the capsule. So, posterior capsular can be anywhere here looks like, but polar, exact polar region that is becoming polar. Did you understand the morphological classification guys? Look at this, there is yet another type of uh, areas of the lens. Look at this. In the
the nucleus itself guys there are so many nuclei like embryonic nuclei then comes the fetal then the infantile adult nucleus so in the nucleus they have some <clears throat> some more parts embryonic fetal infantile adult you should know this because fetal is affected usually in the zonular or lamellar cataract okay and look at this one epithelium they are saying only anterior epithelium they are showing epithelium only in the anterior okay so did you get the morphological classification of cataract usually you can understand one thing if nucleus part is affected okay if it is nuclear cataract they can see better in the night you know why because in the night the pupil will dilate isn't it when the pupil dilate the rays can come in and they can go via the cortex so though the nucleus is cataracted at least in the night when the uh, pupils dilate the light can go via the cortex and they'll be able to see so in nuclear cataract they can't see in the day similarly in cortical cataract they can't see in the night because in the night the pupil is dilated they cannot see in cortical in cortical in the day when the pupil is contracted they can see better because the pupil uh, the nucleus part is fine right in cortical that's why in the daytime they can see better guys now we will move on to congenital or developmental and then we'll move on to acquired just remember all these terminologies again you will be seeing there okay so let's move on to congenital cataract classification this is important for exam so in congenital again they are going morphologically congenital capsular con con polar cataract congenital nuclear and then generalized cataract okay so let us look at the congenital cataract what and all have they given here capsular so again capsular you have anterior capsular posterior capsular capsular polar again you have anterior polar posterior polar for this this one is posterior polar okay then coming to nuclear congenital nuclear cataracts you should have you have cataracta pulverulenta what is this cataracta pulverulenta then you have lamellar cataract or zonular cataract which has riders remember in this what is affected the fetal nucleus in nucleus you have so many parts embryonic fetal uh, infantile adult in that fetal nucleus is affected you remember this diagram where you have seen the fetal nucleus so if this is affected it is what zonular lamellar there will be riders in it so here you will have two rings so that you should remember something like this two rings are there riders are there like spokes of wheel the riders run towards the equator now what is equator this is the equator if this is the pole then this is the equator right obviously then guys you have sutural and axial cataracts in that you have some coralliform coralliform cataract you can remember like coral anterior axial embryonic cataract also you can remember these two if you want you can remember so for sutural and axial cataracts you can remember these two coralliform then uh, anterior axial embryonic cataract sutural where are we here right sutural axial cataracts we we are seeing where under nuclear cataracts in congenital nuclear cataracts then easy to remember you can write one more total nuclear cataract so guys in congenital we have finished capsular polar nuclear now we look at generalized okay here if you see there is nothing like cortical this generalized cataract itself what it will involve is the adolescent nucleus and the cortex so cortex will be uh, the deep layer of the cortex deep cortex and adolescent nucleus okay so remember these first two coronary cataract and blue dot cataract what do they involve adolescent nucleus and deep cortex so somewhere here deep of the cortex and adolescent nuclear nucleus right? somewhere here the cataract right so that part where in all you will see in that uh, coronary and the blue dot right coronary cataract and blue dot cataract this is coronary cataract is it something to do with the shape like corona radiata like the sun or something coronary now here they are showing the blue dot cataract so this also vision is not affected that much because here and there only there are some dots mostly these bluish dots are situated in the peripheral part <clears throat> of the adolescent nucleus and deeper part of the cortex we already told you this so we are done with coronary and blue dot now let us move to total congenital cataract what is this total congenital cataract let's look at that total congenital cataract maternal rubella 
if there is rubella in the mother the baby can get congenital cataract total pearly white nuclear cataract here mostly the nucleus is affected you can see here very clearly total congenital cataract the nucleus is affected right so pearly white nuclear cataract so there is salt and pepper choreo retinopathy in these children also okay these people can have glaucoma also if they have rubella okay congenital membranous cataract what is this this is kind of a strange thing here what happens the cataract gets absorbed okay so there can be total or partial absorption of the congenital cataract leaving a thin membrane behind okay so that much you remember cataract is absorbed cataract is absorbed leaving a thin membrane behind okay so this is all about the congenital cataracts we are done with all the congenital cataracts now can you summarize the congenital cataracts congenital capsular congenital polar again both of these will write anterior posterior nuclear you have to remember cataracta pulverulenta lamellar zonular and then you have some sutural axial in which you can remember coralliform and anterior axial embryonic if you want you can remember then right one total nu nuclear then coming to generalized where cortex and nuclear are usually nucleus are usually affected though total congenital cataract is actually nuclear isn't it so you have coronary blue dot cataract or punctate cataract remember this one there is no much loss of vision guys after this what will you see total congenital maternal rubella then you have congenital membranous cataract okay just pay attention to this word here called pulverulenta that is uh, where uh, you have the embryonic nucleus which is affected okay congenital nuclear cataract in which embryonic nucleus is affected that becomes the uh, pulverulenta embryonic nucleus if the central most part is affected that becomes the pulverulenta guys in the next video we will take up this acquired cataract uh, classification okay acquired cataract also there is a lot see two pages full so just come back for the next video for acquired cataract classification okay that's all for now in this video bye bye